guys, what up? It's Chris. Um, I'm here with another video for you guys. Today, we're looking at um, trying to see what the differences are between using the regular unleaded um, 87 gas, the regular gas, and this new, um, well, not really new, but E15 gas. So as you may or may not have known already, um, 2016 and up Tacomas are um, rated to use E15 gas. And so I was wondering if there are really any true benefits to using E15 gas over just the standard 87 unleaded gas as far as gas mileage. So what I'm doing is I'm doing this, it's about a 90 mile loop, um, about 40, 45 miles each way. Um, and I'm gonna see what, our, what my gas mileage looks like. So far, this is what I've done so far. This is on the regular unleaded 87 gas and halfway through it I'm at about 23.2 miles per gallon that's what the truck is telling me and you can see I've gone 44.3 uh, miles my it's about halfway through um, about to I'm in a parking lot right now tanker outlets woo um, so I'm gonna do this other half of it and uh, make it back to where I started and we'll pick up from there all right, guys, so at the end of the loop, it was about 100 miles, I think. Uh, let's see. Okay, a little shorter than I thought, so it was about 86.8 miles. So, I don't know, let's go ahead and round it up to about 87, mi 87 miles. And um, I think on the last one, I was telling you guys the tank average. My bad. We're at the trip average, so about 23.4 miles per gallon, and that is on um, the regular 87 unleaded gas. All right, guys, so it's a few days, well, actually about a week or so-ish later now, and so we're back in the truck, and we're at the same starting point, the same sheets um, that I started the last uh, loop in, except now I, I have the E15 gas in the truck, I've already filled up once, ran that tank down, and I filled up again, and you can see that's where we are right now with the gas level. Let me throw it. And so that's where we are in the gas level right now. Uh, like I said, so this is the second tank of E15. Um, again, so it actually works out almost perfectly because this is about where um, the level of gas that I had in my truck when I did the first loop. So we're gonna go out now. You can see everything's zero. I've been sitting here for about two minutes um, and zero miles. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, start on this journey on our loop. We're gonna go up the road and come back and see how everything fares. So here we go. Okay, so we have made it to the halfway point. We are back in the exact same spot as last time, right here at the Tanger Outlets. Woo, Tanger. Uh, I think I said that as well. Oh, look, there's a little slinky guy. Anyway, so um, back to the truck. So halfway through, 23.3 MPG, and I'm making sure this time that I'm looking at the trip average and not um, the tank average. Um, it actually just dropped to 23.3. It was 23.4 driving in here. So 23.4 is the number I'm going to go with on the halfway point. And I believe on the last video, it was probably somewhere right around here. Um, because remember, halfway through, I showed the tank average, which that doesn't really, really mean anything for what we're doing here. But 23.4 MPG halfway through. Um, so it's not that big of a difference, at least yet. We're gonna, go, we're gonna go ahead and make that trip back to my neck of the woods, back to that sheets, and um, we'll see if we see anything different. So far though, it's looking a little bit the same between uh, the E15 gas and the normal unleaded 87 that has somewhere between zero and 10% of the ethanol. And we're gonna go ahead and get back on the road. And as we sit here even longer, the MPG is going back down. So let's go ahead and get out of her. 
Um, but as far as my um, take on this so far, which, as we've already said, we're not all the way through it yet, um, I'm a little surprised. I thought the E15 would do a little more, but it's not. So it's very interesting. So we'll see as we get home. All right, guys, we'll catch you in a second. Okay, so we're just uh, right up the street from the sheets and we're looking at 23.6. I wanted to go ahead and get it on camera just in case it changes by me sitting here at the light. But 23.6 is what we're looking at. Not too shabby, but still about the same. So would I use this gas again, the E15 gas in particular? Yes, I would, and let me tell you why. Even though I'm not really getting that much of an MPG improvement, it was only a couple tenths of a mile per gallon, um, it's still a little bit cheaper. Like I said, five to seven cents cheaper per gallon on a really good day, maybe 10 cents per gallon. Um, and I'll take that anytime I can get it because I'm driving a truck, and like I've said in previous videos, I drive quite a few miles to work, to and from work each day. So uh, whatever savings I can get, I'm gonna take it and keep that extra change in my pocket. <laughs> um, and also, I know it's not hurting my truck because Toyota says that I can use this gas in my truck. When you go back there to the uh, gas cap, before you take the gas cap off, it says up there you can use fuel up to 15% um, ethanol. So that's the E15 gas. So I know when Toyota was designing the engine, they had that in mind that people might be using the E15 gas. So I'm not worried that it's gonna mess up my engine or do something bad to it. Um, so that's not a worry to me. So yes, I will still use it. Um, it's saving me money. And when I can save money, that's a good day for me. Um, use, that on, use that on more sheets. So let me know what you guys think about the, the video. Um, do you like the style of the video where I'm trying out different things, making an experiment? Um, let me know what you think in the comments. Do you want to see more videos like this? Um, if, and if you do, um, leave me some suggestions about what you think the next video should be about. Um, but I guess you have to wait and see what the next video is. Come on back to the page or to the channel and uh, see what I got in store. All right, um, comments said that. Subscribe, you gotta subscribe. This is a great channel, it's coming up. It's up and coming, it's gonna have some really good stuff. Um, so also, this is the first video where you guys have seen my handsome face. Well, my wife thinks it's handsome, so. There's that. Um, thank you guys, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Later.